The ground layer is crucial when developing an overall tonal scheme for the composition. Painters from the past employed a variety of color primings, including options like gray, brown, red earth, cream, and white grounds to create their paintings. For this painting, I chose to use a mid-gray color ground. This was a popular priming choice with 17th century painters and happens to be one of my favorite colors to work with because you can quickly paint over this mid-gray tone. To prepare the canvas, I began by applying rabbit skin glue to protect the linen fibers. After the canvas thoroughly dried, I mixed the ground colors, which included charcoal black, umber, lead white, and chalk. This was the typical formula used by masters like Rubens, Rembrandt, Velasquez, and many others. I decided to use a single priming to maximize the canvas weaves effect. Since the painting required a detailed representation of a complex fur coat, I knew that a smooth priming would make it difficult to use a dragging impasto technique. This technique employed by Titian and his followers was used to paint fur and other details. To establish a composition, I began with an undersketch using umber. I preferred to sketch freely with the brush and refine the drawing using pentimento, a technique employed by Venetian painters as well as many other great masters from various schools. I always stick to a historical palette composed of lead white, vermilion, yellow ochre, red ochre, matter lake, umber, and charcoal black. For the top layers, I expand my palette with brighter colors. I began the painting by sketching in the head of the sitter using limited color. I usually do not use the grisaille in my paintings unless I'm painting a specific passage that requires a cool grayish undertone. I work freely with a mid-sized brush, focusing on modeling with warm and cool tones and value relationships. This approach became popular during the 17th century with artists such as Rembrandt and Velazquez as well as many others. I will continue to build up the tones over multiple sessions if required until I'm satisfied with the work. For this particular painting, the client requested to be represented in a crimson colored coat by Dolce Gabbana. The coat had an unusual plum color crimson, and I had to use optical mixtures of various historical as well as modern lake colors. This posed a challenge because lake colors tend to be somewhat fugitive. In all manuscripts, the technique is described to protect the colors by layering the most fugitive colors in the bottom layers. I followed this technique by using cochineal lake in the first layers followed by the more permanent matter and alizarin in the top layer. This commissioned painting took many months to complete not only due to the preparation of the materials, but also because it was challenging to harmonize the crimson coat with the white colors of the interior. To achieve this, I used greenish undertones to create complementary harmonies between the red of the coat and the ambient atmospheric color of the interior.
There you saw a brief summary of some of the painting techniques that I employ. Most of these techniques are all historical. It's a lot of them I've learned from studying directly technical journals and old manuscripts. I've shared a lot of the information here on the channel, and there's a lot of videos in the library where you could find information on the grounds, on the pigments, the glazing. I recently did a video on the glazing technique. Those are some of the same glazing techniques that I employed in this painting. And for a lot of you that are looking to learn some of these techniques, it's important to understand that, yes, it does take time, and there's a deep understanding of the material. So uh, for those of you that are looking for information on classes and workshops, I want to invite you to check out my descriptions below where you could find information on my school, Atelier School Online. We recently have been doing a class on fission technique. And for those students that have joined that class, thank you for joining. They've been doing a great job learning how to make gesso grounds and also learning how to build up the painting slowly through layers. These are techniques that were used by Titian, by Rembrandt, by Velazquez. So this is really something that you could benefit from. I want to invite you to check out also my Udemy classes. I have information there on painting, uh, portrait classes. As a matter of fact, I'm uh, offering a coupon in the description below for those of you that are interested in portrait drawing and portrait drawing uh, construction. This is a, a very insightful class that you could benefit from. So again, a lot of information. And I will see you next time where I will be sharing more traditional techniques and historical techniques of the old masters.